Hello and welcome to Kelly's Anesthesia Tips. I had one of my Coder friends send a question that if it's confusing to her, I imagine it's confusing to many more and thought it'd be a little bit quicker to just try to explain it here. Also, I have been doing consulting now for 20 years and spinal has been an issue over the entire time whether it's underbilling to not collect enough for your spinal surgery or um, overbilling because you don't really understand how to use the crosswalk and the uh, comments and the RVG and such. So I'm going to do a quick one of these just to show you because it, it's not so hard. It's just a little confusing. So here we have procedure code 63047 and 63048. It, that is an add-on code, but it's for a laminectomy, excision, facectomy, facetectomy, excision, and foraminotomy, foraminotomy, opening. But it's a decompression of nerve roots at lumbar 3 and lumbar 4 for stenosis. The problem was the primary code crosswalks, but of course she's trying to get to the highest base highest base ASA anesthesia code. So she's looking at the add-on code of 63048, which does crosswalk to 00670, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But does that mean you can bill for this? <clears throat> so the answer is we've, she just defined it's lumbar three, lumbar four. So lumbar three and lumbar four and one inter, there's one interspace in between. And I want to thank Mayfield Clinic for this visual because I understand some people are visual learners. So what I explained is that lumbar three and four are not three levels, they're two. And there's only one interspace in between. So if you look at the comments in your relative value guide, <clears throat> which I, if I hop over to here, that will also show you. So let me do that. I use a coding program, select coder, and here the primary code 63047 does take you to multiple codes 630 and 670, but you don't meet the requirement for 670 here because 670 is appropriate only if the surgical procedure includes segmental or non-segmental instrumentation. So if there's instrumentation, then it would apply. But in this question, there's no mention of in, uh, instrumentation. And the second throw out is that it's not multiple vertebral segments, which is a minimum of three vertebral bodies with two associated interspaces. So even if you go to the crosswalk code of it was 063048, and it only allows 6670. That still does not give you the ability to upcode this. And why it's considered an upcode, it did not involve either instrumentation or the multiple levels as 00670 requires. Now, why would the uh, relative value guide send you there? because they expect coders to be able to understand the, the code variables. And they don't, you know, it might not give you the option of 00600 if it's the cervical or 00630 if it's lumbar or other options, but there is a disclaimer in the front of the book. Now, if you don't have the paper book for the relative value guide, uh, I've already looked it up. You can't find it online, so I'm just going to share this with you now because I have the book. Paragraph 3 explains that use of a CPT procedure code with a CPT anesthesia code does not limit or restrict use of an alternate or unlisted code. They expect you to select the code that accurately represents the anesthesia service. Now, an open procedure does take more time and is more difficult, and that's why you get the additional value. So you have to be able to tell 
exactly what type of surgery they're doing. A lot of times with spinal, you have to get op reports. And if you see instrumentation and if you see multiple levels, then you can get the additional five base units if you're starting with 00630. Otherwise, you're still stuck using just the 00630 lumbar because it was open. We had an otomy, laminotomy. And if you do see something in the crosswalk that's not accurate, there's a form also in the front of the book that if you send to them by June 21st of 2022 or email if you don't have a book, then they can put the um, suggestions in for the next relative value guide. Now, what I wanted to do real quick is just this is what I'm explaining. If you have the book, you can look it up. If you don't, just I'm giving you that resource here and now. But the crosswalk is a guide. It does have mistakes in it from time to time, but your coder knowledge is allowed to override and let you select the code that accurately represents the anesthesia services. Now I want to hop back over to the coding program so we can see that there are clues along here to help you as well. And I pulled up a number of these. So you can look at the code here. And again, it tells you whether you're in the book or on a coding program, what it's related to. So we know we did not meet that level. If this was not an open procedure, if they did it uh, percutaneously, then it will tell you in the comments that 00630 describes open or endoscopic procedures in the lumbar or sacral. If they're doing a kyphoplasty or something like that, then you have to go to an entirely different section. And as I said, the more difficult the procedure, the higher the base value. Sometimes to anesthesia, because we do bill by time, pick up the additional value in how long the surgery takes. So I hope that helped clear that up for you, my coder friend. Uh, I appreciate you reaching out and giving me the ability to try to help explain that. Shoot me a comment and let me know if it did. As I like to end, be kind to one another and generous with your knowledge. Thank you and you guys enjoy your day.